Right now, Jet Flight 801 is approaching the gate where passengers for San Francisco will board the plane. A huge moving corridor swings into place. It is called a jetway. Through it, passengers can board the jet plane directly from the waiting room, regardless of the weather. In the years and decades that followed, new records for speed, altitude and distance were constantly set. The captain calls the San Francisco Center. Flight 801 Center. over Lake Tahoe at 28,000. Flight 801 cleared to Oakland Omni, cross Sacramento at 11,000 or above. Eight oh one, use runway two one left. Advise when ready to taxi. Idlewell Ground Control, flight eight oh one, ready to taxi. The plane moves forward because burnt gases are forced out through the back of the engine. Radio signals direct the plane on its way and to the landing field, almost as if it were gliding along a highway. The captain pushes the throttle, the four jet engines working at full power. Today we're going to fly at an altitude of 28,000 feet. Our flying time will be just under six hours. One focus of modern flight research is the link between flyer and aircraft. In less than a century, flight has become a part of daily life. Yet flight will remain both craft and science, the technological art form of the 20th century.